Welcome back to another video. I recently made a drawing on a shikishi which is made out of rice paper and some of you were just curious about what it's like to draw on Japanese rice paper and what my personal thoughts are. So since I had another shikishi left I want to solve this mystery of what it's like drawing on it and give you some tips if you want to try it out by yourself. Shikishi is a cardboard made out of rice paper and is framed by an elegant decorative gold border. I bought it in a German online store for Japanese art supplies which is called J-Stuff, but I guess you can get it on Amazon as well. On the back it's pastel yellow and it has some silver details on it. A shikishi is mostly used for traditional calligraphy and sumie which is a brush painting technique with ink and a shikishi is also used for collecting signing autographs because it's a special and high quality paper. So if you are collecting signing autographs it's the best to use a shikishi and frame it later. It will look amazing. A shikishi is truly a simple and elegant way to showcase your paintings for yourself or as gifts to others. Since a shikishi has a high quality paper, which is not that cheap, you need to be careful with the materials you want to use, so you won't ruin the paper. But of course you need something um, you can sketch with. I would recommend a pencil with a hardness of 2H or harder, so the marks are easily to erase. I cannot really recommend to use a mechanical pencil like this one. even. If I usually like to use it, the lead is just too fine and may scratch deep marks in your paper. A common pencil like this one from Stadler is pretty good because it has a thick mine and it's rounded at the tip so you can draw soft and light. I would also recommend to use a cutter instead of a pencil sharpener to sharpen your pencil. You can also use a pencil like this one, which I recently love to use. I guess it's called clutch pencil and you can just buy mines like these and get a special sharpener for it. It's like drawing with a normal pencil, but a clutch pencil got more weight. so. It sometimes feels better while drawing with it. The best for this paper is not to use an eraser. But since you want to sketch first, you will need an eraser that is soft and white, so it won't destroy the paper that much. The thing is, the more you erase, the more you're going to roughen the paper structure. Somehow the eraser takes some of the paper instead of only erasing the pencil marks. It's not that bad and it won't change anything if you're starting to color, but be gentle as possible. This paper is pretty soft. It could be easier to make some thumbnails first, so you know what you really want to create. And because the paper is more soft, it seems to be more absorbent, but it won't bleed through the bag. So if shikishis are made for calligraphy and sumie, why is it so popular in the art community to draw on them? Almost everything looks awesome on a shikishi. It's a high quality paper, like I mentioned before. Um, and I guess almost everything works pretty well on it. You can use ink, watercolors and even alcohol based markers perfectly on it. Every illustration will look more significant and customers rather tend to buy art on a shikishi because these are treasured items. Shikishis are available in different sizes and shapes. In this way you can be creative in different ways and sometimes they come in a pack of two. I personally like to draw on shikishi. Of course it's different from my usual paper, but you can really feel and see the quality. It's not for nothing that it's more pricey than usual paper, but it's a great experience. 
I like to use my Shikishi art mostly as a first prize for my ruffles at conventions because I think it's better than giving just a thin piece of paper um, which might get damaged pretty fast. No matter if they're sumie, a drawing of your favorite artist or a signing autograph on your shikishi, you will always have a wonderful memory for a long time. What do you think? Would you like to try out to draw on a shikishi or to start collecting signing autographs on it? I hope you enjoyed this video. I wish you great holidays and like always, stay creative. Bye-bye!